Yeah, what up, what up, fam? My name is Wolser. Welcome to the channel where I talk about all things food delivery. Well, uh, this is uh, day 10 of April Behind Bars, a money making challenge. And uh, yeah, I'm getting started here at 1230. This is my first order of the day. I'm barely $16 in with these two orders that I'm about to deliver. Dang, I'm behind. But yeah, any, anyways, uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit what happened. But uh, glad to be back. I got to pick up here a sweet green, which I just did. Uh, I had to wait there like a good five, six minutes. It was packed. We started seeing all the all the dudes that are going in there. It, it is lunch rush, so it's understandable. But damn, just <laughs> kind of witnessing the entire chaos in that store. I like that's wild but uh yeah guys so I got a few things to tell you guys I'll break it down we got a long day today if I want to hit my goal today we're gonna be out here till midnight if lucky I gotta go to gotta go to Cali Cali, Cali California chicken I uh I should have went there while I was waiting. I should just walk next door. Really didn't feel like walking though. But yeah, thanks for joining, guys. Day ten. Let's get this money. Coming back to get another two. Here at a uh, Sweet Green. But I took a break. Just wanted to go eat and chill. Just wanted to get out of low thought process. But look, I got this big ass meal, 22 items. So I'm just gonna put this up here with me, make it easy for myself. Actually, I have a little thing that holds uh, clips. You could clip things on here. I'm gonna clip in this bottom one. There you go. Just to secure it. And uh, yeah, I'm good. It's salad, so I don't really have to stay um, hot or whatever. But let's see how much I make. I was, I'm only supposed to get 14 bucks for this. Maybe with this order, I'll get more. Guess the tip, baby. All right, so it's, I guess the second order, I'm actually going to drop off second. The big order is going to get dropped off second. And, and uh, this one, so this one's gonna be last. Oh, let's hope there's a hidden tip in there, baby. Guess the tip. Should have took a screenshot of that. Uh, easily put this bag in my backpack, but because of its height, I would have to took the, I would have to collapse the my kit to create a, a little bit more height. I think my cup holder is about four inches tall. The backpack is 20 inches high so with the cup holders in there it, it reduces us down to 16 in height this looks way taller than that but to kind of skip that i just put it in here that's why i love uh scooters with platforms and i'll probably continue to use those for food delivery it's because of that extra space you got I worked 6.5 days. I didn't work Sunday, and I only worked half a Saturday. I ended up injuring my ha my hand during the break. I like tried to open a bottle, and I opened it, but it shattered <laughs> when I tried to open it, and I cut myself like right here twice. And um. Yeah, I think it was bleeding a lot. You guys know how glass is. We're not gonna wrap in tape underneath this glove, but I'm like, yeah, I can't work like this. So I took a break. It's pretty good, healed up by now. Sucks that I had to lose like three, three days of work, but it's all good. Let me show you guys where I'm at though. Last week I made a thousand sixty-seven, but that does include ninety dollars, ninety-two dollars prop money. And then that was with DoorDash. And then I mean that was with Uber Eats. 
with DoorDash, I made a thousand sixteen. A thousand eleven hundred sixteen. Now I don't know if DoorDash is putting the adjustment on. I think they're putting it on this week, so that's the adjustment already. So that counts because that's that was last week's prop money. So eleven sixteen. Let's do the math. 11 16 plus what did I say they want 1065 minus 90 well I put plus minus 92 the prop money about 2800 289 so let's just say uh, to narrow it down make it easy 2100 that's basically that day and a half if I would have worked Sunday that would have been 300 and I would have finished the day off with over another another 150 that would have been the 2500 dollars that i needed but uh, i missed i missed it so so it's all good so what i am gonna do is i'm gonna use uh the the fifth week and count it towards my april behind challenge try to stay motivated you know i don't know how much it is uh I gotta do the math. I basically still have three and a half weeks left. That should make up for those days. I'll do the math later of how much I need to do every day. I probably won't hit quota today since I came out late. But it's all good. We're gonna push as long as possible. Tomorrow I'm basically gonna come back again solid early. I had to work on I had used this time to work on kits this morning which I was finally able to like kind of cut some stuff down and uh, I fixed a few things the screen I connected directly to my USB the, the the wireless charger hooked it directly to the battery and little little modifications like that all right so they're doing a whole photo shoot right here Woo! <laughs> A lot of ladies here. So they're usually in the backdrop of uh, of this like motorcycle shop. They have all these models in there. That's the that's the, what I delivered all the food at. So look, it's crazy. The base pays six dollars for those two orders, which is ridiculous, right? Uber don't make oh, Uber don't pay much they keep all the profits uh, without a tip man I don't know if this delivery will get done so I really hope this thing has a decent tip in it it's, it was 22 items so you're looking at like a, a, like maybe a, some of those were drinks but there was a lot of bowls in there let's just say there was like 12 bowls each at 15 a pop 15 times 10 is 150 it's like gonna be I don't know man well just wait I'll wait an hour I'm not trying to do no math right now all right stuck here we've seen this before remember that Clifford truck these things got stuck they try to unstuck themselves which way should I go let's go this way so I picked up a quick McDonald's order eight bucks going to east going to Boyle Heights I think we are in Boyle Heights gonna knock this out I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to make a guess on that sweet greens order I'm gonna guess 35 bucks tip. I'm being super optimistic <laughs> because you know it could be like nothing at all. It could be zero, but I doubt it. Uh, Sweet Greens is just one of those restaurants where, for some reason, their clientele rarely pulls or tip. You, you, so you expect that from like fast food could be wrong though we'll find out helicopters they like beasts 
Holy Basil was getting, I think they were getting audited or something. They were taking a while. But it was cool. They have windows, so you kind of see what's going on. The guy just going around, clipboard, checking the temperature of stuff. Going around the restaurant, asking about stuff. Like, what's this? What's that? Can't really hear the conversation, but they can kind of see what's going on with the body language. This place um, looks so clean, though. That we got a great A, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get another A. Thai food restaurant is, uh, I've been here a couple times. It's a bomb. $15 order going all the way to Cape Town. Good. I kind of wanted to leave DTLA. Go to something more lively. Burst for that uh, delivery earlier on. From Sweet Green to that photo shoot. It was originally only going to be $14.02 for both. But one tip kicked in it went all the way up to 54 doll hairs and two and 42 cents so that's a big difference i'm gonna add it up right now but uh, i came out to a 48 dollar tip Woo! oh yeah baby thank you thank you 54 minus 14 so i gotta add 40 bucks to what i currently have plus 40 oh yeah 111 sweet Technically, I was supposed to be at 200 already, but we started late. We started five hours late. And this challenge, I lost my platinum status. That is because I declined the $3.50 order that was going, I don't know, down the street from Chipotle. I turned it down, so my acceptance rate went down to 69. Yeah, I get frustrated with this acceptance rate because let's say I get five orders, I accept them all. I'm at let's say I'm at seventy percent acceptance rate. I accept five orders straight, and then I decline one, and for some reason I'm still at seventy percent acceptance rate. Like it should be at seventy four percent, right? Because I accepted five, boom, five plus five uh, plus points minus one, boom, I should be easy, seventy four percent doesn't make sense because I don't even really decline deliveries on DoorDash and why am I at 70 I should be like at in the 90s 90% percentile it's very difficult to understand that's yeah. frustrating you know but I mean I mean this is the easy stat to bring up as long as it ain't anything else like a completion rate I'm at borderline. I'm 95%. <laughs> I one more down, and that one takes 100 deliveries for that one to go off. Or within the last 100 deliveries. It's based off the last 100 deliveries. So it could take a while to bring it back up one point. Depending when that last one was. That uh, was a cancellation or an unassigned. Because I did it's unassigned a few, which ended up being worth it. Because uh, one of them was that Earth Cafe one. I unassigned from Uber Eats just to focus on no I under I undersigned the DoorDash a couple DoorDash ones that I had to just focus on the Uber Eats one and it ended up paying off well that or Earth Cafe that it ended up paying out uh, had a huge payout there was a lot of items Anyway, I guess I'm on silver status, which means that I cannot log on at any time. That's a bummer. Uh, I'm at silver status, one percentage, basically one delivery away, right, one, uh, from a platinum status. Now that I ended my dash, because I accepted an Uber Eats delivery, I cannot log in any of these markets. See this gray area? I cannot log into any of them. Only downtown LA so I gotta say this kind of does cut off a, an arm for me because I was enjoying being able to kind of just ride my scooter anywhere or pick and take any delivery wherever I ended up I could just start DoorDash again wherever I'm at 
just keep stacking money right here I'm back to the old strategy where I have to go I have to go back to DTLA to make money or I have to at least schedule myself what in whatever market I want to work in yeah I don't like it bad drivers including myself <laughs> this is, those is, those is lady was honking at everybody she was, she was like being really impatient because the drivers in front were uh, taking a while to make a left and a right I, I had to go straight so I went straight and I'm like looking at my, rear, at my mirrors I'm like I don't see her all right now I was gonna make a right I was looking to my left no one was coming and I was about to turn left she like got in between me and the and like the sidewalk like squeezing in ever so quietly I didn't even notice her I almost like ran right into her car but I scared the shit out of her <laughs> she like I guess she just looked and she just saw me like kind of accelerate towards into her car and I like stopped obviously stopped right before I hit her when I be like when I realized like there was someone there but I wish I was recording that on my GoPro because she was big mad like with a big attitude in her car you know just screaming you can, you can see her lips kind of doing the hand gesture and all that I'm like lady there's cars crossing like let them let those cars wait for the right time I mean there was little gaps where they could have took it but they would have to like slam on their gas and then burn rubber and then they would have made it you know anyway uh, there's been a handful of little incidents like that like when I was doing a u-turn and then this car just took the red light coming at me good thing that I, ha I could do a sharp u-turn so I was able to turn into the first lane instead of going out otherwise you could have slammed right into me you know little things like that normal normal LA stuff <clears throat> I did get a, a $7 delivery which I accepted that I just picked up and I got an additional one for $11 and another one for 10 So that's $26 that I just kind of stacked up right now. Just on Uber. I'm not going to be focusing on DoorDash until I'm able to jump on again. But if I do, I want to make sure, make sure that I accept a handful of deliveries so I can have some wiggle room for the Platinum status. So I can log on anywhere. All these little chess moves you gotta make with these apps. Never been here before. Nancy. A burger, a burger. Two shakes, goddamn. In this heat, I guess I guess it makes sense. Up is the sand as a sandwich that I picked up. Let's put these shakes away. All right, these are safe in the back. Who had the shakes? This one. Let's put that there. This one's by itself, and then put the sandwich right here. Perfect. rid of those shakes because this street Fairfax is not fair at all because uh I it has like these bumps man that are like basically like parking lot speed bumps and I just hit one of them and good thing I'm just carrying burgers what am I carrying right now I'm carrying a, a burger and some fries onion rings Burgers tend to be in a box or wrapped up, so that's cool. Fries, onion rings, don't matter. But the shakes would have been, they would have flown up to the top of my backpack. Well, not all the way to the top because I did have like the four cup holder on top of them. So that probably would have prevented them from launching too high up. They would probably, there's a 50 50 chance that they would have been all right or destroyed <laughs> or popped out of the, uh, that little space where they were locked in. But yeah, Fairfax, man, I gotta stay away from that street. I gotta go around, around, right here between, uh, 
couple of streets here around here. Fairfax between Melrose and Beverly it's just bad I'm just gonna stay away from Fairfax I'm just going around it another $22 request but right now that I looked at this order check this out 20 18 items from a restaurant called Cali Tandor I have no idea what that is but 18 items quite a good number so I yeah, hope there's another big tip in this one now it looks like there's only one you can only make a right up ahead so it's gonna do a u-turn so with this I'll be at 190 194 196 this is gonna send me back to uh, back to like the West Adams area I don't even know if that's the name of the neighborhood, but kind of by like Western Adams area. That's kind of where I guesstimate these two are going to go. That's where I kind of saw it in the map. I'm all the way in Beverly Hills area right now. Oh, not Beverly Hills. I guess borderline, border Beverly Hills and Culver City. Yeah, Beverly Hills. So yeah, 200 bucks, I guess, close to it at five o'clock. I can still potentially hit um, at 300 by like nine, which would be great. Ooh, that means that we like one of the biggest comebacks, like in a day. And that'll be largely due to the help that I got earlier from that huge tip. And then hopefully this one comes with a tip. Um, I gotta take a look at the restaurant and see if it's a nice kind of upscale, maybe expensive restaurant. But it could also just be 22 bucks, which is still not bad for two orders. Indian cuisine feels pretty stacked. Oh, I guess the tip. I'm 50-50 that it's going to probably stay the same. Or be more. I can't really lean lean on one side too much right now. But I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I think 22 is still pretty decent. Verify or to confirm. Alright, let's go to the next spot. Just down the street. Tender greens. Tender greens is just one item. What do you guys think? Did we score big time with this order? Certainly hope so. Any regular tender greens order. This is a, a family meal. A steak family meal. This is just a salad. Squeeze it up on top. Perfect. All right, man. I got two big orders that I'm carrying right now. Can't wait to see what the payout is. Like it's uh, 4.8 miles. Ooh, we're gonna go through some nice streets. Sit through Culver City. We're gonna cross over to Baldwin Hills. But uh, you know, I haven't passed by this street in quite a while. I used to pass by here uh, my road bike all the time because this was this was one of the routes to get to the beach and it's a very nice route there's a river bed uh, that goes onto the beach too which is also fun to take but also there's another uh, spot that's pretty popular here it's the Culver City stairs it's these these really oversized stairs that lead up all the way to that mountain here on the right people come and come out here to work out I want to see if I can give you a glimpse of it Hopefully you can see here, you're gonna see a lot of people uh, kind of like workout clothes. I've done it a few times. Like right now you can't see anything, right? It's just like, looks like a regular, like little commercial area. Once you start climbing up those stairs and you get to the top, you get a 360 degree view of LA. It's super sick. Oh look, there's where it starts. The Baldwin Hills, Baldwin Hills Scenic Overlook. 
I'm trying to be able to show you guys this. Oh, there they go. <laughs> oh, there they go. You can kind of see the top of the stairs right there. Ooh, man. Be nice to go up there. Burn them muscles. Right now, when I go to a couple flights of stairs, I feel it. I'm like, oh man, it's been a minute. So I give us a better view. Have they changed it up? Uh, I thought it was gonna be able to give us a, a better peek at it, but oh, there we go. I can't really see, but that's the top of it right there. All right, let me just focus on this lane splitting. LAPD helicopter is circling around that area. Uh, reminds me too, there's a station here, a metro station, where they had, a few years ago, they had a construction site right next to the metro station. And um, there was this dude, pro probably on drugs, this homeless guy on drugs. He climbed up one of those cranes that they use for construction. He went all the way to the top. He went to the top and then he went to the arm. He went and climbed all the way to the extension of the arm. And, uh, you know, by this time he's gotten, he got some attention. There was like police and there was pedestrians. There was basically a spectator, a bunch of spectators just watching this guy. He starts hanging from the, from the, from the crane. Like he like, like if it's a monkey bar, you know, he's just like hanging off of it. And... I don't know man when you're on drugs you, you feel like you can fly this guy must have thought he can just hang and just glide down but at one point either he slipped or he just let go and and I've seen this video it was taken down but I got to see it you just see his body go all the way down and he lands on the on the train tracks boom his head explodes and then you could just hear like little fragments of his skull just kind of like shower around. You could hear them hitting stuff. It was graphic as hell. Maybe I should have told y'all it was. Uh, well, I'm describing it. You guys didn't see it, but it was wild. Like you ever, you ever seen a watermelon? Someone drop a watermelon from a high building. Yeah, it looked something like that. It was wild. Like it's sad, but damn. Like, I couldn't look away, even though you want to, like. Yeah, every time I see that, that station. And right now that I saw the police helicopter, it reminded me of that. The drops. Uh, I gave, I told him to hold, I mean, it's always a good idea to tell your customer to hold it from the bottom when it's a brown bag and, and it's like liquids or it's just kind of heavy or just in general, because you never know when those bags are gonna give in. And I uh, got the pin, and he's like, thank you, boss. And I'm like, holy shit, he knows. He knows I'm a boss, baby. <laughs> All right, well, we're done with Dean173. Oh, yeah, well, most of the deliveries have been on Uber. Oh, I can't wait to see what the payout is on this one. Oh, the last one I got, a big tip. It was only supposed to be 19 oh, so, oh never mind nah, it was just a few dollars more let's see i can't log on look i can't log on to any market with doordash just because of one percent acceptance rate it's just one it's all good uber eats has been filling in the gap pretty nicely today Uh, we should be at 200 already by the way i think what well we'll see how much this one and uh how much we get for this one in an hour hope i get some good money sir it's kind of nice i used to live around here six bucks taco bell me this is where uh some car was driving really fast trying to get away from cops and uh, drove right into a UPS car. The, the it was there was teenagers. Their two pa uh, the drivers passengers both of them died. Did that right down the street. We'll probably see a shrine. 
let's see it's coming down this way and from what i could recognize it was right here yep there's a shrine on the left damn oh just kind of good that's why it's kind of good to like maybe not have music on so loud when you're working if you do put it low I know sometimes I have my little moments I'll put some music on or I'll listen to audiobooks but not too loud so you can hear you need to pay attention to these engines sirens all that you need to have a good idea of your surroundings and one of my BFFs lived around here. Homie Jermaine. Elementary school. I was wondering what happened to him. You ever like uh, lose touch with like a, a, a friend, a childhood friend? I wish I remembered his last name. I'm trying to find him on Facebook or something, you know? But yeah, this area right here. Still looks the same. It's always been nice like this. I was too young to appreciate like the nice houses. We lived in uh, we lived in apartments. We didn't live in nice houses. A nice house like this. All right, so I'm going back towards an area I'm familiar with. It's 5:57, so it's gonna be dinner time right now. So we're gonna get a surge of some money, hopefully get it another hundred bucks that's it because I didn't come out that early I don't know about my ambitious enough to stay out here to get 333 I think uh, I'll settle with for 300 to go to uh, DTLA <sighs> and I got a request 22 bucks the hell? Where's the cops? Oh, they're behind us. I got a, re a dual a request. This, this thing's going kind of far. It's going to go all the way to Beverly Hills. It's two different pickups. Two different locations. Let's get it. I'm like, whoa, this, hot, this, this area's been hot all day today on Uber, so might as well stick around that area. Just kind of... Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been good. This whole the whole time I've been out here. So let's just do what works. So I got six soups. Even the ladies like, be careful. I'm like, I got you, fam. I got a kit made just for that. Look at that. Ooh, it's gonna be nice and snuggled in there. I got the perfect kit for it. Man, I really need to make uh, make the Crank Hustle logo kind of bigger on these backpacks. And let these restaurants know if they got a Crank Hustle kit in there, you ain't got nothing to worry about. I took an $11 going to Beverly Hills. And like right before I delivered this and then uh, right away I get a $16 offer going up into the hills which is going to be fun hopefully I can get up there before the sun goes down maybe catch some some scenery but that with these two puts me at 245 and this is not accounting whatever that the tip on those two big orders were Does it show yet? Doesn't show yet, but <laughs> by the time I deliver these, I should know. Two offers. Well, I got this one here for. Oh man, I can't believe. Oh, eleven. Then, then sixteen, and then another one for ten bucks. So pretty wild that's um how much is that 11 27 37 dollars we're gonna go to the hills 
I hope this takes me somewhere new explore mode while making money just a quick update I'm at 255 and it is 636 my phone's at 25% battery every time it goes below that Uber tells me I guess it's trying to give me a heads up to charge it but right now that the sun's going down uh, the brightness level of my phone is not going to be as bright so it's not going to be taking so much power so it, the, the power should start going up slowly yeah during the day when the sun's beaming the wireless charger doesn't work as much and my screen is usually at all the way like the brightness is all the way up and that's so we can see better because the sun kind of makes it difficult yep go to a barbecue spot but hot zola of los angeles ems but reporting live here um where am i at mid city don't know what's going on here never seen these uh ems's dedicated in the memory of don ronald da, da, da. come on man squeeze through so this barbecue spot that i'm going to never been there i haven't had barbecue in a minute it's probably gonna be a while too before i still trying to do my carnivore diet here roast beef will be dope or just uh what's that other meat man is it roast beef the one you put in the in the oven and uh you smoke it for a while i think the uh sonora is gonna get delivered first so let's put that out front Slide one in here, slide second here, and then this plate we just put right here. All right. Let's see. Now I can see where we're gonna go. Oh, we're going deep in those hills. This looks disastrous, by the way. Look, I gotta go up to this one. Go up here. And I go back down. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's no way across. I gotta come back down the hills. Yeah, there's no way around. Damn. Oh well. Let's get it done. Right now. Let me take a pick. I can't really see because the sun's in my face, but yeah, too too much. Yeah, the sun's blocking too much. I gotta go somewhere where the sun's blocking, like right here. She kind of blinded me a little bit. Let's try that shot again. Now nah, I'm too close now. Oh well. I was trying to get that those palm trees in the in the street, but there'll be other photo op. Or this is no room in the back, in the back seat. Sick. <laughs> Wonder how fast I can go. Look, it's a sick shot right there. Damn, I got less than a second to do it. No, I don't have time. Be interesting, cause. One of them, I'm going up to the hills to deliver it. Then I gotta come back down the same hill and then go and then come back on this road and then go back up and do the other delivery. Damn, look at this guy. <laughs> Opening the door. Oh, he's parked in the middle of the street. That's so dangerous for anyone that rides a bicycle, e-bike, scooter, motorcycle, or just any cars passing by. Because that door well, is more dangerous for people on two wheels, but it still could mess up someone's cars or passing by. They just open the door. You know, like, I 
gotta be careful. Check out the palm trees. That's a nice shot right there. Damn, I gotta pull over and take the shot. But the sun goes down. Gotta give me one shot at least. Fucking camera. It doesn't focus. Oh, I did it. My little hack, it worked. I don't know how uh, crispy that photo is going to be, but it looks picture it looks clearer than most pictures that I've taken with my camera. Because I told you guys the, le the, the focus on that on my main camera got messed up. That looks good though. I like it. Uh, so like I have to go that way, right? I got to go east. I'm basically like at the same, same elevation level as the other house. I just gotta go back down but I wonder if there's like a hiking trail I don't think so because this all looks like private property so there's I really don't think there's a way to cross over but I'll see right now I'll hit the navigation and see if there's anything that I can go that way with even if it takes me like a little longer I'm still down to do it just because we touching new grounds yeah, I feel my ears kind of like that little elevation uh, clog this you get on your eardrums you know like we could get on the plane or going up a mountain I just got that right now I got up here quick all right um, you know what I'm gonna end up just going the other way like there has to be a way to get to that house without having to go back down this the other way so I'm gonna risk it but I think it'll be worth it. Let's do it, baby. So look, I'm, I'm, I'm facing southward. So this, that's basically Los Angeles. If we could get a glimpse of it. It's kind of reminds me of Honolulu when we're, we're, when I was driving up to one of the, basically going towards the, the mountains. You're going up. You couldn't see nothing for a while. And it was very foresty until it wasn't and then it opened up <laughs> i'm sure we won't get oh sunset baby oh sunset baby all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna make a right and let's see if it just auto directs me so right now i'm only three point i'm three point my three miles away it's supposed to be a 10 minute drive i might bump that up to a good 15 minutes Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we all how the arrow direction goes. The redirection goes. All right, let's go. Come on, baby. Give me a good route. Come on, baby. Give me a route. Give me a good one. Eventually, it's gonna give up and go the other way around. Right now, it's still telling me to go back to do a U-turn. on Google I know you can find another way the other way shit I might have to turn around I'm taking a picture of this oh god damn it I gotta get off my damn scooter I feel like my scooter's gonna fall come on baby focus not focusing this is such a great shot that's the best I could do it's not redirecting me either it's like telling me to like what about that street oh yeah like it goes all around It just turned into 17 minutes. <laughs> oh, I guess there ain't. Yeah, it'll be too long. I'm already at 17 minutes. How did I add up so much time in just literally driving up for two minutes? All right, I guess I'll save the exploring for another time.
nice day, man. It, it was getting warmer earlier, but now that the sun's kind of going down, it's getting nice. Use low gear. It's super steep here. I've gone on this hill before. I'm not even hitting the gas and this thing's just going. Went on to my last spot, last drop off. I did take a bit of a detour. So maybe I wasn't able to go around the whole mountain and find a way to get to my customer's destination but I did uh, hit up these back streets to get up there just gonna show you guys this is how these this doesn't even feel like the same city anymore if anything that kind of looks like Thailand <laughs> it looks very it looks like a rainforest that street there the streets were they didn't have sidewalks you see water draining down the side and there were just greenery sticking out everywhere also it is a unique time for california since we've been having a lot of rain over here a lot of this would have probably been dried up but at the moment it's super green like this look at this Ooh. this looks sick private road residents and guests only yee 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 Check this out. Alright, I gotta make a left here somewhere. I believe right here I gotta make a left. Yep. Oh my god. I just got a sick view of downtown LA. I'm about to take a picture right now. Damn. Wow. I don't know if you guys caught a glimpse of that, but I'm gonna come back down this same road and uh, grab a pick with, de with a DTLA in the back it's gonna look sick already got the picture visualized check out that mansion up there just checking out all these houses whoa that looks sick all right let's go to my little photo shoot location See how it's uh, lights are turning on? It's about that time, 7.25. Sun's almost gone. Let's go get that flick. Let's check out the view. Whoa, DTLA in the back. All right, I already know where I gotta park my scooter. I get a nice flick. Park it right here. I have to walk back a little bit. Leave the scooter on. Oh, that looks so sick. Dang, where am I? What city is this? Alright. Let's grab this flick right here. <clears throat> oh, I gotta go way further to get the shot. Oh, it's all good. That looks pretty sick. Alright. That's it. I'll get one of the DTLA. I'm like, maybe like 10 miles away. Nah, probably further. There's actually no outlet through here. If I go that way, there's no way out. All right, how can I get out of here? Yeah, I think it's that way. All right, let's go. That was dope. I did <clears throat> the one that was 22 bucks for the those two big orders. I got $8 more, it was $30 that I got for that one. This one was 22.09. This last one is 
another one for 10 bucks up in these hills might as well so I got like how much did I get for this last one this last trip I got 27 bucks the last barbecue spot oh this is supposed to be 37 all right well I haven't gotten everything yet I actually gotta make a right baby thank you he let me pass through all right anyway uh, I gotta pick up here somewhere uh, Tokoya okay Tokoya is over there this is 10 bucks right here damn how much do I have 265 apparently All right, the Koya is right here. I'm going to park right here. The hills. It's crazy. Um, I'm able to see some of these houses right now. Jesus Christ. I think I read that statistic that there's like over 200,000 millionaires in Los Angeles. This shows <laughs> when you start riding around here, every person that owns this home here is a millionaire. Every single one of them. There's no way that they're not. And if they are not, it's just, they're close to it. These houses are valued way over that. Maybe they don't just don't own it yet. I want one. Thirty-one bucks. I was about to call it a night, but now I feel like just riding through because I'm at a two ninety-six. Wild. The hell was the name for this? He just wrote it. Oh, it's A. So, who am I dropping off first? So, Justin. He joked around. He's like, Justin Timberlake. I'm like, man, I've actually delivered to that guy. It was probably like a band practice or something. Because he was like at a music studio. But the thing is, like, yeah, there's a lot of famous people around here. Like, I'm around here, I bet. So I can just get some uh, deliveries going to downtown LA. So I can bring up my acceptance rate up since I'm at 69%. I want to get to 70 at least. Tell me why I missed the delivery. I didn't even know. I didn't even hear it. Went down to 68. So I ended up just jumping on just to hurt my score. However, uh, I did take the next one and then there was like an add on to that. So it was like two for 10, one for six, one for four. Nothing crazy, but I think with these two, I'll be at 70%. But look, we'll, we'll see. Because this is what I'm saying how this, this app doesn't like. I'm supposed to technically I accepted two, missed one. So I was at 69, went down 1.68. I should go up two points with this. But this shit doesn't seem to be playing fair game. So, man. Pick up for Naru. The cross, the parking lot. And this lady's like, it's gonna be 10 minutes. This thing is active. So I'm just gonna grab my scooter. I don't wanna leave it there for 10 minutes. I'm just gonna drive around the block, kill some time. With this, 10 bucks. Let's see where I'm at. Actually, let me do the math right now. Uh, plus six, plus four, 312. But I think I've gotten more. 
well there's obviously tips missing from this trip there's a 16 oh from the last trip yep tips haven't showed up for the last one which is another eight just kind of want to see where i'm at Too many numbers all right let's see so 16 all right 266 plus the six dollars missing plus the 16 whoa plus 266 plus 16 that's missing plus eight that's missing plus 20 from DoorDash plus 10 with this 320 I'll be $13 away from my goal my daily goal 33 which is wild because I started at 12 and it's about to be 9 soon while the hourly rate for today's hustle it was really is really good probably like in the 30s $30 an hour plus and I'm still at 68% Acceptance rate is a percentage of offers you accepted out of your last 100 opportunities. This is calculated based on all accepted and declines on the last 100 offers, which means that any offer after the 100 will replace the oldest offer. I just did two. This delivery was terrible. It was a no tipper gave no instructions and when I did text them they were giving me all the incorrect um, all the incorrect instructions I almost canceled it but I just want to finish my day these two last ones that paid me 10 bucks and it took so long and it was just to try to get that acceptance rate um, going I ended up getting kind of uh, frustrated with this last customer uh, which I'm sure they're gonna give me a bad rating just because I kept asking valid questions of how to get into the building uh, And I know it's gonna be a bad rating just because they are already gonna they're already a non-tipper and the way they were responding to my questions Was very kind of like well you figure it figure it out So yeah, very frustrating uh, Especially right now that I've made like Man, how much did I make on Uber Eats? Like 277 plus whatever tips are coming in. And then like, I don't have to deal, I could just decline. Whereas DoorDash, I had to deal with like difficult customers. And still, and then I accepted all the deliveries that I had to and still lost a privilege on the app. Doesn't make sense, it's just frustrating. But maybe I'm just having not a... In contrast of how well I did with Uber and DoorDash, is uh, you know, it makes sense how I feel about uh, the app right now. But whatever. Tomorrow I'm gonna get that percentage up. I'm gonna have to schedule myself per like usually like how I usually do it, and then uh, yeah, just figure it out. Oh, but I'm calling it a night, guys. I'm about to give you guys like uh, an update on everything tomorrow. I know it's 300 plus today for sure. I just don't know how much. Probably like 315, 320. Killer day though on uh, Uber. I'm close to 2500. Woo woo! All right, y'all, I'm calling it a night. April Behind Bars, day 10, comes to a close. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace. Here, here, I was getting, I was, uh, saw the smoke from the freeway. I thought it was an encampment fire, but the fire looked kind of big. It's, it's, uh, what is it? It's like an RV parked in the back of some apartment complex. Seems like they got it under control though.
What part of the apartment caught fire? We got a lot of people here. So it's been going on probably for a while. I will go that way, but I'll fucking... <laughs> it'll be kind of hard to go over the, the fire hose that are... full of water. Yeah, all the locals came out. Probably worried about fire spreading. Yeah, it looks like they've been here a minute. Let's get out of here. Oh shit, how the fuck am I gonna get over this? I've never gone over one of these. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever gone over a thick ass hose. Like, damn, they got this whole street blocked off. Oh, damn, that whole that smoke is thick. Whoa, well, that's a nice flick right there. We'll take a pic and then go home. Oh, the smoke is blowing this way, too. Before the paramedic cuts in. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, fuck it. Let's bounce. Long ass day. You know what? On a quick note, if I would have started at 7 a.m. like I'm supposed to, this would have been a $400 day. Easy. Easy $400 day. <laughs>